hello friends welcome to my channel slash code so in this video we are going to see how to live load our data which is stored in the database and how to take that data on the front end like it will refresh auto refresh uh, again and again and it will let you know the updated data and uh, this is the auto refresh page this will be the home page on the home page we will not doing anything we will just uh, like uh, uh, fetching the data but in auto refresh page whenever I click uh, it will load after like it will not reload the page but it will uh, load the content of the page and uh, from the database and show you on the front end so there are two application one application which is for the UI design in the Spring Boot and another application is there like uh, we have the Eclipse and in clips we are uh, inserting data after uh, some interval let me start this application and run it for you like it will insert the data again and again after some interval so run as java application and as you can see it is started to inserting the data like currently it is inside the constructor and it will insert the data now you can see on the front end currently i have four records now let me go on the auto refresh page below data will refresh after some interval so yeah currently we have 92 and again it will refresh now you can see the page is uh, like there only but uh, the content is getting refreshed so we'll see this one how we uh, how we can do this how how can how we can approach what is the approach here and how we can get this functionality in our project like where we want to load the data on the live basis so whatever the inserting is happening here and the showing the data uh, is happening from the spring boot and we are showing that data on the front end now you can see 100 is updated here 103 so like this uh, we can uh, build the functionality now let me explain the code for you let me go on the home page so we are getting only top 10 data we are not fetching all the record present in the database we are getting only top 10 data let me click on the browse so we'll get all this update uh, inserted record here and you will see we are having the data from the 85 till 103 yeah so we have uh, from 85 we have the record 103 but we are showing only top 10 data now show how we are going to build this uh, functionality now let me explain you the code which is inserting data after some interval so here we will have two class one is the automatic order and one is the db operation the project name is order update thread you can create a project from new and uh, in new you can create a java project so what i have did here i have created one logger so instead of using system.out.println i have directly used the logger.info here so you can create an logger and uh, the run count whatever the count i want to run the uh, to get the row inserted in my table and here is the main application i have created an object of the db operation then uh, time interval which is required for my thread like after how many uh, second it will uh, it's like a retry for to insert the data again and here is the runnable interface then uh, this is the run function for this uh, interface and uh, then we have created inside the thread inside this uh, in thread then current time is this one and this db dot insert in order table it will responsible to insert the data and uh, after this we will sleep for so we will uh, stop this application like we will uh, make it sleep for four second and again we will start again if there is any exception then it will call this uh, print stack trace and then and after that we are in, in case of exception we are closing the db connection or if otherwise like uh, if my all loop is getting completed successfully then we are just closing the db connection after uh, the entry uh, this loop reached to the run reach till the run count and then thread uh, is equal to new thread and uh, thread dot start so like this we can we have implemented this uh, like application now let me go inside the db operation what we have done here 
so in db operation the first you can see on in the constructor only we have started to load the class dot for name and this we are we have started to load the driver here then we have created the connection by passing the credential of the you know, like url and uh, the root password root user and password as the blank after this connection created successfully and we have created a statement random is used for to take the randomly data from my array so i have created here like three array one is the constructor name product name and then product price and then uh, we have created one more function to insert the record from the array uh, so we have the random object here and we are passing the length of the customer so this customer length we are passing so that we will get the index number on the random basis and then we have created the one insert query and uh, then we are using the statement dot execute update insert order so it will execute that statement and in case of any issue it will print the like it will catch it and print it and in the last we have created one more function to close the db connection so like this is this is the way where we can uh, like uh, one is for like constructor is to initialize to get something loaded for us to get something ready already whenever we require so like this the all the driver loading and connection create uh, related app uh, like uh, code we can put in the constructor so whenever i have created object here in my main function a db operation it is going to create the connection and statement for me then i have created an array and in the insert function i am just going to insert the record and in the close db connection we are just closing the database statement and connection uh, database connection okay you can create this application on based on your coding and logic this is not uh, required that it should be same as i have done you can create a thread as your own by uh, implementing that uh, runnable interface or extending the thread class and then we you can add this or you can make the separate code for this uh, thread and you can uh, start to like uh, how we how we are doing for the thread you can do that the same here so the main motto of this uh, standalone application is to insert the data after some interval in the table so you can do the way you want and if you see in my build path i have added this uh, mysql connector inside my build path of this application so it is required whenever you are creating any build uh, like a standalone application then you should you have to add this uh, mysql connector in your build path so here our main motto is to get the data loaded on the live basis so if you see in the cricket example the like the balls and uh, whatever the run is going on which is loading the on the live basis after two or three second or four second it will just reload the page and it show you the updated run score by the team and uh, if you see the uh, application based on your stock prices that is also happening the same way like to load the live data on the user front end and here we are going to see whatever the order is happening in my table i want to show that order data on my table on my front end table and user is not going to refresh the page it will just reload uh, it will just open that page and page is going to reload after some interval so how we are going to do that the main motto is going the main thing is going to happen in the spring project so i hope you know how to create the spring project in the sts now i'm going to just explain what i have done here so while creating your spring application you have to specify to a java version and then if you come down i have added the jpo repository to interact with my database java persistence api here and then uh, we i have used here the web uh, spring boot starter web to get all the web related dependency jstl to show my record uh, on like uh, so that we can iterate it uh, easily and uh, then we required the mysql connector so here i have added the mysql connector dot uh, under uh, like hyphen java we need uh, the jasper dependency of the tomcat here test it is not required you can leave it and dev tool to reload the 
like uh, we need to restart this application so we can add the dev tool uh, so whatever we are doing in the application it will just uh, start to it will uh, we no need to restart it it will uh, automatically do whatever it uh, like it will automatically restart your application and now come to the application dot properties file if you want to see the structure my application so here we have the main package uh, com dot slash code dot live order ui inside we have the two controller home controller and rest controller i will explain what is the role of these two controller then this is the main application where the application is going to start then uh, order uh, order dot java it will be my model which is interacting model is uh, interacting from the database like whatever the table name column name we are going to specify here repository then service so as you can see we have followed the mpc approach here now come to this uh, web app web app then we have views in the styles we have the bootstrap.min.css file then we have auto refresh.jsp header and footer.jsp homepage.jsp okay so now let me come to the application.properties and explain you what what we are doing in this file so first i have specify my that uh, server port so you can specify the port whatever you want so this is the basic thing you can add any of the port then the view resolver the prefix and suffix so uh, as you can see i have stored my data inside the view like whatever the jsp is going to uh, i am going to use it it is in the view so the by default the spring uh, this application is uh, directly redirect to web app and after that we need to specify in which folder he have uh, this uh, application is going to search for the jsp page so the it will add the prefix and then after that it will add the suffix and it, if i'm going to say home page from the controller so it will add this views and then it will search that home page dot jsp up enter on the front and back of this uh, string and uh, it uh, i will show you the picture how it is going to happen then url then username password and uh, this update update is going to do it will uh, like it will not create the table again and again it will just check if the table is present then it will not going to do anything if table is not present it will create it and then uh, we want uh, that uh, hibernate sql should be come on the front end so uh, so we have specified here as true so that uh, hibernate whatever the query is going on it will show on the console you can uh, uh, ignore this one this serialization fail on empty pins is equal to false 